Russell, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. What a way to sign off the season. Yeah, I thought there was some really good football. Um, day. I mean, they're a good side, MK Dons. We know that. Um, they were hoping to finish in the top 10, so um, I don't know whether they have or not, but, but certainly um, concentrating on our performance. I thought the two goals we took were uh, exquisite. I thought they were very, very well taken. There could have been more. I think it's now 99 goals scored in all competitions this season and uh, certainly David Mooney and Kevin Lisby both very close to that long-standing record of 20 goals in a campaign from Peter Kitchen back to the 70s. Yeah, I mean they link up very well don't they together and uh, as you say the movement and the, the weight of the pass that Moon's put through for Liz's second goal was, was excellent. Um, they were very, very good goals and, and the build-up to them was was, was first class and that's the sort of standard that you know we need to set ourselves today which is what we wanted um, because we're underdogs going into the uh, playoffs there's no doubt about that you, you've only got to look at the bookies and we're um, you know we're not given we're not given the chance but you know who the opposition is now Peterborough United the side that have a very good record in the playoffs yeah they do they're excellent and it's an excellent side and and, and Darren's done a, done a great job. They've already won one competition and, uh, and, and played at Wembley, so they'll be looking to get there again, that's for sure. We know it's going to be very, very tough. And it's going to be difficult for the supporters as well because of the redevelopment of London Road. There's not going to be too many seats for the travelling fans. No, I, th I, th I think there's restrictions probably on all the games, Dave. I think that's what came out of the meeting that Lindsay and, uh, uh, and Matt went to on, on Wednesday at Wembley. So I think it was limited at most of the grounds, I have to say. Um, but, um, you know, whoever, whatever we we're able to take, I'm sure we'll, we'll fill all those seats and um, they'll get right behind us on the day. Because there were 1,300, over 1,300 here at the uh, MK Dons uh, this afternoon. Many in fancy dress, a cougar, but there's more celebrations to come, isn't there, Russell? Um, well, look, we've got, we've got a mini league now, Dave. There's an awful lot more football from our point of view to, to play for. We've come such a long way and and you know we have to give everything we have to give absolutely everything if we're going to achieve something that will be truly re remarkable but that final league table all the history books will show just what a good season this has been for late night the third place finish 86 points last season that would have been automatic promotion i, I think the chief exec just told me five he just disappointed me by telling me five out of seven seasons it would have been enough but look it is what it is and um uh, we, we play Peterborough, our focus, our minds, everything we, that we do, our preparation, our planning has to be all, all about um, Saturday and, and uh, our game against Peterborough. What about injuries ahead of that one? Scott Cuthbert not featuring even on the substitutes bench this afternoon? Yeah, he had a, he had a slight um, hip problem so we weren't taking any chances which we haven't done as you well know over the last few weeks and um, so we weren't going to risk that but we will be um, Pretty hopeful that he'll be available um, next Saturday. Any other concerns after this bruising match? No, no, I think we're okay. I managed to whip my two front men off, didn't I? Um, so, and, and, and Lundstrom's come off as well, so I made the substitutions as many as I possibly could. If, perhaps would have made five or six if I was allowed, but that's not in the rules, David. The confidence must have taken a huge boost after back-to-back -back pictures. Well, it, it, yeah, I mean, e even before these two wins, I actually thought we were playing some very, very good football, perhaps not quite getting whatever it is, that bit of fortune, the rubber, the green against Wolves, for, for, for example. Um, didn't think we deserved to lose at Crawley. It wasn't a great performance, but I certainly didn't think we we, we deserved to lose. So, I, I, I mean, there, there were... There were some good performances uh, without us getting the reward, but the last two games we got that reward and uh, it's nice to go into the playoffs having won two games. This season so much about character and spirit and uh, that's going to be crucial, crucial now, isn't it, for the playoffs? Everything. We don't have to change everything. We just have to maintain what we've, what we've done all season and, and, you know, it is a one-off situation and, um, you know, it's a now situation and there's nothing for second place, unfortunately. And, you know, all those, all those values, all those assets, all those strengths that we've shown over a long, hard season, we have to show. We have to maximise everything that we've got. It's a great achievement. Congratulations. Thank you, Russell. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you.